Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share that scripture followed by Pat's Two Cents and her stories. Scripture that says, The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous availeth much. It availeth much. Gets great results. I am telling you, God is truly a prayer hearing and a prayer answering God. Now, I'm going to share a story with you. True stories. Um, I had a friend. She is my best friend. Back then, she was a newly, um, she was a new mother of twins. And she was getting ready to go somewhere. And she was so excited about going. And that night, it was like right around the time they were in the bed, all of a sudden, when they have been playing all day, they were fine. Now, these babies were about, about two, two and a half right in there. And they got sick. They got feverish. They got nauseated, diarrhea. I mean, sick. All of a sudden. <clears throat> so, she was down because she wasn't going to be able to go to this event the next day. And when she told me, we agreed in prayer together. But when I got off that phone, I was so angry. The fact that Satan would pick on the little babies to, to steal her joy. And I just knew it was an attack. It didn't feel like something that just came on them out of nowhere. It was an attack, and I knew it. So, I fought. I did battle. I I. Yeah, my attitude was a butt-kicking attitude. I was so passionate, frustrated, and indignant. And I was bawling Satan out and telling him to take his hands off of those babies and how dare you pick on the, on the helpless and blah, 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 blah. And, oh, boy, I'm telling you, I was upset. When I got through, that morning, I had I gone to bed that morning, I got up. Um, I gave her a call to check up on her. And she said, guess what? I said, what? She said, the babies are fine. Like they were never sick. I woke up to check up on them. And they were fine, Pat. Fever gone, no diarrhea, no throwing up, no nothing. And I said, yeah. That was an attack. I thought that's what that was. It was just too crazy the way it came on them when they had been fine all day long. So she was able to go to her event. Now, my point in that is it has to be something important to you to get those kind of results. There's something that breaks through. It's, it's called a breakthrough. And you break through this barrier, and I don't know, I don't quite get it, but that was one of the few times I had an instant prayer answered. Instant. Another time, a friend of mine was limping down the driveway. Now, this woman was a servant of God 24-7. She was available 24-7. And she had come over to look in on my father. And my her, her husband, you know, they were my next door neighbors. My husband, I mean her husband, oh, okay, her husband called her. And when she, this is what happened. She was coming up the walkway and she was limping. And I said, what's wrong with your leg? And she said, I don't know, girl. All of a sudden, it just my leg just started bothering me. I mean, it hurts, and I don't know why. And I said, well, come on over here real quick. And she was coming over anyway to look in on my father. So she comes in, and I said, sit down. She says, well, I got a child. I said, sit down. And she sat down and smirked. like. And I took her leg, and I rubbed it, and I prayed, and I rebuked, and I commanded Satan to take his hands off her leg. Everything in me, I don't know what happened, but it was like, I felt so upset. I was so, I, I, I can't explain the emotion. It was mixed a mixture of hurt. 
it was a mixture of indignation, um, compassion for her, and concern. And I was like, no, you're not going to attack one of God's servants. This doesn't make sense. I, <clears throat> I was upset. <coughs> <coughs> so, excuse me. So when I got, I was praying for her, just about done. And her husband was calling from her front door next door. And she said, what, Steve? And I don't know if it was somebody on the phone or whatever. This was before the days of cell phones, y'all. So she uh, she jumped up. She said, oh, I better go get that. I'll be back. She jumped up. She went, you know, through the living room to the front door. And she got ready to go outside. And she looked back. She said, guess what? And I said, what? My leg totally stopped hurting. It's not bothering me anymore. And I said, thank you, Lord. Now, those are the kind of instant prayers that can happen. They don't always happen. I know, I know. And there are times when they won't happen, and we don't know why. But God's wisdom is above ours. So, But it does pay to be passionate when you pray for people. It pays to really, genuinely care. Because there's a power in that love that flows from God through you to someone else. It does something. My father, I was taking care of him. He was in the bed. Story number three, then we're done. He was in the bed. I was taking care of him. He was 81, almost 82. And his legs were really starting to hurt. And I thought it was a lack of circulation. So I asked God to anoint my hands. And now I am not one with a gift of healing like some people every time they pray for somebody. No, it's, it hits and misses like everyone else. But this time it hit. And I had, I had gotten him out. I had to move slowly because he was literally uh, whining from the pain. It was like, oh, he was really weak. So... I eased him into the wheelchair and I put his feet up on the leg thing and I got on the ground on the floor of his bedroom and I got some lotion. And I mean, when I went to touch his legs like that, he was like, ooh, and I said, okay. So I had to barely touch him, but I'm praying. Oh, I'm praying, I'm praying. I was on that floor for about two hours. By the time I was at the end of that prayer, and the end of the massaging, I was doing deep tissue massage. It was not hurting him. And when I got through, my father told me, you know my legs don't hurt me anymore at all. And they never bothered him again. So don't hesitate to be persistent, to add action to your prayer. Because something that flows through you is the, something about that love for that person that just gets prayers answered. It's, it's really bizarre. But anyway, just know that the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And God is truly a prayer hearing and a prayer answering God. God bless you. Be encouraged. Don't stop. Don't give up the fight. Keep praying on.